Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and today I have a very cool how-to video where I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your very own simple flamethrower. Let's get started. All you're going to need for this product is four household items. You're going to need a barbecue lighter that you can take apart. will have to have gas in it. A little lighter like this, cigarette lighter. Mine's missing the cap, but it doesn't matter. You're going to need a little syringe or needle. Size is kind of irrelevant. I have one this size. It works perfectly. And a hot glue gun. First, grab your barbecue lighter, and what we're going to do here is remove the gas tank part right here. So, you may have seen in my other videos, but all you're going to do is remove the screws, take off this little cap part right here, break the lighter open, and simply take the clear square part out, and what you'll be left with is this right here, and by pulling up on the valve here, you can get gas to come out. So this is what we're going to use for the fuel for our flamethrower. To make the actual flamethrower, grab your needle and take off the safety cap. Then carefully, depends on the model, but on mine you can just unscrew the top and the actual pointy part will come off. So you're going to safely dispose of this in a sharps container or something. And of of course, use an unused needle because if not, that'd be very unsanitary and quite gross. So, now what we have to do is mount it just like so on the top of your lighter, plunger at the back, and so the f opening to the flame of your cigarette lighter is close to the nozzle as you see there, and we're going to use some hot glue gun for that. There's the completed flamethrower. I added a bit of tape for extra support aside from the hot glue. There you have it. Now let's do some shooting tests. So I've turned the lights down. Now to shoot it, pull the plunger all the way back and we're going to fill this part here with gas right here. Tip it upside down since the butane is heavier than air. About five seconds. Three, four, five. Now before it all runs out, light the lighter and press the plunger. Well, one more time for you guys. Here we go for a side view in the dark. That might have been a bit too close. Here's a bit farther away. And here's from the point of view. Pretty cool. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this simple but very cool project. I uh, hope you like it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, help me reach the 50,000 subscriber mark. I'm getting up there and I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So look forward to that. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I promise you'll like my channel. So thanks for watching and as always, please like, comment and subscribe.